the random, random error is more like an accidental error, which is not repeatable. That typically occurs due to human mistake or environmental inconsistency. If we want to calculate random error, we need to perform several measurements. The more, the better. For example, we have, we have n number of measurements, then we will we'll obtain n number of results. So here we can call those results with uh, a1, a2, a3, an, whereas an is the last measured value. First, what we should do is to calculate arithmetic mean value. We simply sum all of the, our results and divide by the number of those results. Second, we calculate the standard deviation by this equation. Standard deviation means that if we take one more measurement, then with a probability of 997 after, out of 1000, it will be within the range between A min minus 3 sigma and A min plus 3 sigma. By knowing standard deviation, we can calculate the absolute error by this equation. And by knowing the absolute error, we can calculate the relative error by this equation. If we want to get the answer in percentages, then this value we need to multiply by 100%. Then we can get the answer of the how much is the error in percent in, in, in percentages. So the, fi the final answer for the random error should be written as a min plus minus uh, absolute error and uh, relative error. That's basically how to calculate the random error. Let's see some example. Let's assume we have measured some parameter four times. It doesn't matter which parameter, it's just an example. It could be mass, it could be voltage, current, resistance. So we got four values. We measured four times and we got four values, 5, 4.7, 5.1 and 4.9. First, we are going to calculate arithmetic mean value. We simply sum all these four values and divide by four since we measured we got we measured four times this parameter and the uh, final answer for the mean arithmetic mean value is 4.925 then we will calculate the standard deviation using this equation so we simply put instead of a1 we put 5 since a1 is 5 and say that A2 we put 4.7 and then 5.1 and 4.9 and here we use the arithmetic mean value. When we uh, minus these values <coughs> we can see here that uh, we got minus here and we got minus here. So, but however when we square this value they will become positive. So here as you can see the result when we square these values, the, all the values are positive. And I mean, it's, uh, when you multiply minus by minus, it will be positive. So the final answer for the standard deviation is 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.17078. Now we will calculate the absolute error. And using this equation, we 3 multiply by the standard deviation and divide by square root 4. And the answer is about 0 0.256. Now we will calculate the relative error by this equation. We divide our absolute error 0 0.256 by the mean value 4.925. And we will get the answer is about 0 0.052. Or if we multiply by 100%, we will get we will get the answer in percentages, 5.2. So the fi the final answer for the random error is 4.925 plus minus 0.256, or 5.2.
percentages. So we can say that our random error is 5.2%. Or if you look at here, this is our absolute value is plus minus 0 0.256. That's the an example for just a random example to show you how to actual how to do the calculation for such um, problems and I used four times to hear just as example but you can use may five times or ten times or twenty times the more the better thank you for watching subscribe for more science videos